Good afternoon from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well, sending plenty of love your way on a gloomy day coming from down here in South London. Now I'm staying down longer. Um, I'm remembering that I actually feel, I feel really good being back in London, to be honest. Maybe I've missed it. Maybe it's my mindset. Maybe we're just moving on and remembering uh, that you have to be out and about to do your work, uh, which I've been doing all weekend now. Before I get into another dramatic scandal coming in about um, abuse by a major uh, British, um, allegedly British actor, right? I'm gonna do the video straight after this. Um, following on from the Tommy Robinson thing, because there were a few of you saying that on Monday today, that because they never served the papers correctly with the date of the 13th when certain things meant to take place, but he was out of the country. It meant that he was going to get a not guilty today. We told you on Yami BTV, though we get a little bit excited and a bit muddled sometimes, that he won't be getting bail on coming out today. And to make it um, fact now, Tommy Robinson pleads guilty to contempt of court, which carries a minimum fine, two years in prison, or both, right? They're not gonna give him probation, are they? He's not gonna get a fine. They're gonna give him the maximum, right? Now, hold on. He pleads guilty. We suggested um, earlier on, a couple of months ago, that we think that Tommy knew and believed that he made a couple of mistakes somewhere. And that they, because they're predators and they're watching everything he does and any little slip and the passion that he wears, I mean, you know, you've got to be be honest. He's put himself out there, and really. Um, maybe he doesn't mind um, accepting the punishment and sacrificing himself for what he believes in. Whether some of you say it's all made up, whether he's just only in it for the money and blah, blah, blah. No amount of money is saving him from going to prison and all these links to the government and the Israelis and all, all this kind of stuff. I understand what you're all saying. That's not what Yami B's on about. Uh, what we are on about is he stays in custody. Right now, the bit that we might have got wrong is I was thinking that the other case from Friday, but I'm only I'm hearing now that that only carries about three months maximum. So maximum, I think it's two years, three months, or two and a half years um, that he can get to spend in prison, which is not really that long, but it is um, if you don't want to be in there. Um, but probably not getting the maximum, maybe twelve months to so fifteen months in prison. So. He has pleaded guilty, which is unheard of from Tommy Robinson. But um, that's the latest on that, right? So we cleared all that up. I don't want to hear no more nonsense from some of you. Though. We don't always get it right on the Amy B TV. And we don't want really anyone. We don't pray prison on anyone. Um, no one is bigger than the country. I've told you this already. Um, but it would seem that he would probably have understood that anyway. And it's probably on his passionate grounds, so to speak. So, yeah, okay. Um, we'll get that out of the way. Um, but no, all of you saying no, it didn't matter about that. And then they all had all these video, all these podcasts and all that. And if you had these videos, yeah, but that bit could be that. No, no. Once they get you in custody, they'd like you to stay there. And especially with him, they will want him to rub a little bit of porridge. No near future um, for Tommy Robinson on this one. Um, we say from Yami B TV, um, at least um, probably um, six to eight months behind the door. So it wasn't what we have other people think fours, fives, six, and sevens. Don't think they can. All right. So coming up now, the other dramatic news coming in. 